Welcome, everybody. Uh, as always, we're excited to be here because I know I say this all the time, but this is another great episode because it is. It is another. I mean, it is a great episode. It also, it's. It, I mean, it's set around something I always wanted to do when I was in high school, which was Model UN. I thought it was really interesting. And now that I see I missed out on perhaps some really crazy drama in the in the General Assembly, I really, I missed out. I don't even know if my high school had that. I've never heard of it until no. we did it. Until we did the episode, I'd never heard of it. You don't even know about the United Nations, do you? Where, oh, you know what, that's south of Dakota? Okay, you got that's it, the, you yeah, got it. Yeah. Um, no, this think, is my this car. Is, I don't know if I could drive there. I don't know. But <laughs> move on from that. This is a great episode. This yeah. is a great episode, and it's it is the treaty written by the great Harris Whittles. Harris Whittles, and, who I know you guys yeah. have talked about yeah. Harris before, but let me just jump in quickly. Um, you know, as listeners mostly know, Harris has passed away, and he was just one of the best. Funny, so smart, so smart. Um, also played, you know, he had a recurring role on the show, yes, which was hysterical. Yes, who was the guy he was with? Um, oh, with Colton Dunn. Colton Dunn, who so then yeah. he went on to Superstore. Yeah, and, yeah. And he works all the time. But anyway, uh, Harris Whittles is missed, and I'll never forget a moment. We were all at the Emmys, and they were doing the in memoriam, and it's interesting. Those in memoriams are so hit and miss. Like they. Sometimes I don't hit certain people. You're like, how did that person not mm. get mentioned, or how did this person get whatever? And I was, it was uh, Nick was next to me, and I think his wife Megan, whatever it was, and Harris's picture came up mm. during the in memoriam, and it kind of, like I, I, it was kind of a, a, a bit of a slap, like a shock, not in a bad way, like a like a whoa, yeah. and then I look. Nick's eyes are wet. My eyes are wet. Megan's eyes. I mean, it was just, um, it was lovely. Yeah. It was lovely yeah. that they did that. He certainly deserved that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, great guy. I, I just haven't been here when we've done one of his episodes. No, and I of course. To... No, he's, I, I I will say this to anyone. I, I've never laughed more from some, by someone's humor than Harris I Wells. love that. He's the. And he, is he the original Humble brag. He invented creator. a word. So he he, he, yeah, he invented entered the lexicon. That. It's it's unbelievable. That is incredible. I mean, that yeah. really that humble I, brag is will go down forever. Yeah, there, it's one of the few things from Parks I think that also that's entered the zeitgeist in a way that you don't even have to know that Parks and Recreation was a show, and you just know of this. Right. Right, we talked about treat yourself. Treat yourself, of course. Now, I mean, and humble. I remember he, he came out of his office giggling, and I think he said something to the effect of like, "I he had." talked about it in the room this idea the concept of a humble brag but pretty much that he invented this idea this word and this twitter account that took off and became a book and now is a word that we say i yeah, mean i use it i've all heard the you time. say it on this podcast yes, yes. all the time now, i i um i learned an immense amount about writing from harris an immense amount about how to be a person from harris um yeah good really man great good guy man, and, good I'm, man. I'm and a excited. lovely family yes. i've met a lot of them and uh, of course, heartbroken for over their situation, but they're just lovely people. And um, yeah, God bless Harris Whittles. Yes, wonderful man. Yes. wonderful man. 